Hey, uh, fellow veterans and uh, anybody else that wants to hang a flag on your wheelchair, um, such as what I'm doing, I saw uh, I saw a thing in the hospital that uh, little metal piece that was on the side there, and so I'm trying to emulate that or simulate that, and uh, I want this to sit about right here on the outside of the handle, but not in the way of the wheel. Okay, uh, and that's my goal. Have a hole on the bottom. I'm going to show you uh, what I did with that, and I've already taken out the two screws. Okay, right here. They are long enough, and I have already made one of the brackets and tested it. So the screws are long enough to go in there, but make sure you don't lose this guy when you take them off. I, I did. I don't know where it is. It's probably inside my my uh, bumper here, so try not to lose those. All right, so um, let me take you in, and I'm going to show you how I uh, what I've done so far. And this is one of them. we got to make one a different way. This actually sits really nicely right in this spot and goes down. I'm going to make another one that actually goes up right here. So we have up and down. Um, Over here, this tube fits nicely right on this uh, American flag and the hole right here um, is flesh. Okay, so it's a quarter inch going all the way through. I have a pin that goes in and actually uh, clamps on the other side right here. So I just pull it out and put it right over. I do it with one hand and there it is. It stops the flag from being pulled out when it's I'm in using spot. aluminum. Okay, one sixteenth by uh, three fourths. Three foot gives me a lot of room. I could probably make these from some other. Uh, okay, I measure the size of the screws, and I think the screws are all different anyway. So check your check the size, okay, and uh, drill a hole not too far away from that end, okay, because you don't want to jab uh, jab the uh, driver of the wheelchair in the back. Right, so what I want to do with this is I grabbed a piece of vice grips. The hole is right there. You could probably see it, and then I'm pulling this up. This is aluminum, so it bends very easy. Okay, I want to make it kind of like a 90 degree angle. And that's, uh, that's what I've done there, 90 degree angle. So what I want to do now is come out about the same length. Um, what I'm doing is I'm coming out probably about an inch. Okay, so this is my uh, other one. And it's about an inch right there. So I'm going to put my finger right there, actually right about there. And I'm going to bend it the same direction. So I'm going to bend this down. Okay, so I'm going to push downwards. Pop that. I'm going to grab this side here so it's uh, even on both sides. Okay, so there we go. So now we got to make this curve. Got to make this curve. Now the curve is going to go the different way. So the curve I want to go be going down this way, going facing this. So they're both. Uh, so I. So what I want to do is I want to loop this up this way and down. Okay, so what I need to do, get my orientation right, this is the same direction, the same direction that the uh, other one is, only uh, the other one at this point is, is uh, going up, so I need to go down on this. So I need to grab this and twist it. So I'm twisting it, and uh, this could be a lot of fun. It was easier the first time I did it. See, it's, it's wanting to go the other way. So I got. I just have. You have to really uh, be careful here because too much play you on this, this will make it go down. You, you just grab it with on this side and go down. Just do it your best to where you have these go in the both different ways. If you go both the same way, then that's fine. Um, but you have to work it to where this is going to be flat up against the uh, the hose clamps. So the next thing to do is go ahead and uh, you got to saw, cut, do whatever you need to do to cut this off, and you want to bring it down about uh, I'd say uh, bring it down about a half inch from the end. So that's what it looks like installed. Okay, and I want to show you over here that the hole I had go fore and aft so when I put the clamp on there's no chance of it hitting the tire. So it'll be, it'll be going through this way on this side over here uh, on this side over here. Alright, so that should work very nicely. I'm worried about the aluminum, but it should it should do alright in a, in the Veterans Day Parade, uh, which is this this is what it's intended to. I used a washer as a place of the skin washer. That's up there. That should do just fine until I find that thing. Alright, so now the test is uh, let's put the flag in, see what it looks like in the little bit of breeze that we have. Well, there it is. Installed in my chair. Oh, glory. A beautiful sight it is. All right, so uh, looks like uh, looks like it's gonna work out good. Let's give it a tug a bit, simulating the winds uh, blowing. 
So I uh, come around here. It looks like that uh, aluminum is going to work just fine. It's clear of the tire down there. Somebody can still push me along if they need to. Uh, it looks looks pretty darn good. There's a little play inside of it, but the the thing down the bottom is holding it into place. That's that's really nice. All right. So uh, anything to help out our fellow disabled uh, disabled veterans. Uh, anybody that wants to fly a flag on their wheelchair. Uh, I, I'm really thinking about uh, making this available for anybody out there that wants to, just like I do my bag underneath. Uh, and also, uh, it's, this is just the high cost one, is my bag up front, uh, because it's a hardware bag. So, uh, but, uh, this is just a really nice, uh, nice idea. Subscribe if you want, share, share also. Take care.